Today we will explain to you in detail about China UPS circuit board. How it's work and what are the section in it and what is the function of each section. This video is very informative for you on YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel Varis Electronics and press the bell icon to get notified of our upcoming videos. This is the booster section of UPS and contains FET is number 3205. This booster section is here. When 12 volts comes from the battery, it will boost the 12 volt to 450 volt DC. Once again, understand that 12 volt will come from the battery. This chopper will increase 12 volt to 450 volt DC. Now, convert se converter section uh, will convert 450 volt DC to 220 volt AC. Hence, it is called inverter section. The second chopper works for battery charging, and uh, these FETs are for battery charging section as well as for control the 220 volt AC. Therefore, this is called charging section and control section. Now I tell you that when electric power supply will come or shut down, where is changeover system in it? There is a small size LM350 IC. When electric power supply is restored, the IC will sense to it and give, will give a signal to the main system IC. So the system IC will do changeover power supply via relay. After changeover, the inverter system will go to shutdown. Actually, IC LM358 is a sense IC. This IC also sends the battery connected to the UPS. It sends that how many battery charging is required. When the battery charging is full, the LM358 IC will sense it and the system IC will stop further charging of the battery. This is procedure in Chinese and all other electronics UPSs. The structure, resistances, IC, etc. may vary, but the diagram is same for all. Yes, UPS output will remain 220 volt AC. If there is no load on it, then output volt will be 150 volt AC. If you put a small load on it, the UPS output volt will be 220 volt AC. It has a selector switch on the back side to increase or decrease the battery charging. While the charging function can be increased by changing the value of resistance of IC UC3843 attached to it. If there is a difference in the output, an error will be shown. If there is a fault in any section of it, an error will be shown in the display. Any error of any module you can search in the Google. It also has another button a narrow wide. If you keep it on narrow as soon as your electricity is less than 220 volts its inverter will be automatic on. If you keep the button on the wide then if the electricity power will drop up to 90 volts but still it will continue charging it works up to 11 volts low battery and will shut down if the battery has less than 11 volts it will not even turn on the whole board is battery powered not 
and AC powered. If the battery is charged more than 14.7 volt, it will show the sign of overcharging on display.